as a leader or rather as a manager, you know that one productive minute wasted will never be recovered. In the two previous episodes, we saw that the way we use time in production and administration affects lead times, quality, profit and morale. Wasteful activities are time eaters. Leaders neither produce a service nor a product. They create information flows. The nature of information can either slow things down by creating waste or speed things up in a positive way. It all depends on the leader's behaviors. What are the good leadership behaviors that support the development of a lean organization? And what are the fat leadership behaviors that create waste and sap people morale? Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenue from Impi. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. What are the lean leadership behaviors that improve information flows? and the fat behaviors that slow things down. Many leaders still believe in the 1970s dogma that the sole purpose of a business is to create shareholders' value. They may also believe that management by fear is a valid approach to running an operation. Consequently, they won't believe that respect for people is the foundation for sustaining a business success. If you identify with them, save time and stop watching. I won't convince you. In this episode, I will list some of the lean behaviors and some of the fat ones. Some time ago, when I was researching the subject, I found several articles from Bob Emiliani. This is my resource for this episode. So the better and the faster the information flows in organizations, the more agile and focused the employees will be. There is less waiting and more effectiveness, that is, doing the right thing. And these are examples of lean behaviors that facilitate information flow, such as humility, trust, gratitude, humor, calmness, consistency, listening, patience, etc. I'll add Emiliani's list to the description section. Interestingly, how do you relate humor to increase profit? Take a pick. Humor contributes to good relations, good relations to increased engagement, and increased engagement to increased productivity. Fundamentally, good relationships mean good culture, and good culture is good business. So look at the fat leadership behaviors that block or distort information. For example, office politics and behaviors that create it like misleading, manipulating, but also micromanaging and high ego that come with autocratic behaviors, blame, condescending, incapacity to admit error, even bullying, Retaliation, mental abuse, or public humiliation. I've witnessed that. All those behaviors are summarized by disrespect for people. Disrespect for people. There is a sneaky, fat behavior, and it is unknown expectation, where people don't know where to stand and have to guess. This is the waste of motion, when a person has to search for the truth or to figure out what to do or how things work. We know that leadership behavior is contagious. It creates experiences for their subordinates, which in turn develop their belief and subsequently their own behaviors and actions. Negative behaviors shape a toxic culture. 
Then the change in leadership from fat to lean behavior starts with the belief of whom the leaders are. There is a large industry behind leadership development, and I'm not an expert, but I have an entry point for leadership change. It is the awareness that our identity as leaders is to serve. This is my understanding of servant leadership. It is a pursuit of making our followers successful. It starts with the recognition that as leaders, we don't create product or services. Our people do. We create information that will either make it possible or difficult for them to create value without waste. Lean behaviors usually foster service to others and empower them to be engaged and productive. If you believe that your identity is to serve your people, then you will naturally develop lean behaviors. It will make your life more meaningful. And this is the good quote for this episode. Bob Emiliani wrote, Fat leadership behaviors are inconsistent with lean management because they generate both task and behavioral waste, unevenness and unreasonableness. Information that moves within and between people and processes comes disrupted and gets scrambled, resulting in time delays. Isn't this beautiful? If you are one of the first three people able to identify the location of this view, you can meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching. Just write the location in the comment section and send me an email at wwd at imp.solutions. Here is a clue. The mountain name is the small version of a famous mountain nearby with a feline name. Also, you may have a need to improve on your leadership skills, lose those fat leadership behaviors, turn them into lean habits, or you need support to transform your organization. I can help you. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, serve well.